Hi! <laughs> Hello, ladies, gents, moaners, and whiners. I realized some time ago that I have a pretty negative view of the dwellings. I never felt this way about the mine since Belunky HD, so I spent some time figuring out why I feel this way. Before I start, I'd like to coach this whole rant. I, I want to be on record. I regard Spelunky 2 as an awesome game, an overwhelming success as a sequel, and an improvement over nearly every aspect of Spelunky HD. I suppose that's why the few negatives stand out so much for me, because I think the dwellings are an overall miss, and before you tell me to get good, it's not because of the difficulty, but the tedium of traversing the stages. And here's my top five reasons why the dwellings are boring. I don't think this is the biggest problem, but you knew I'd bring them up, so let's get them out of the way. If you've watched me play, you've heard me bitch about moles. Lizards aren't as bad. But they still offend at making the dwellings tedious. It's the invincibility frames preventing you from doing anything to them while they can still hurt you and forcing you to wait or run around them. It's the three-point health pool making it a chore to get rid of them. It's the random patterns of their digging making it a pain in the ass if you want to be diligent and kill them so they don't surprise you later. Or not noticing they're digging altogether because it's often too damn subtle among all the other distractions. It's the incessant threat of a stun lock that grinds the run to a halt, outright kills you or takes three points of health in one go. It's the sometimes near inhuman reaction times you need not to take damage. Look at this one, come on, that's unreasonable. All these are not that bad on their own, but combined together into these two nightmare creatures is just too much to worry about for the first zone in the game. Nothing makes me go... Ugh, like seeing an Ujedi cave near the top of the level, with extra ugh if you need resources to get to it. This means I'll have to go hunt for wherever the key spawned and bring it all the way back to the cave. It's an uninteresting, tedious chore with an extremely simple solution. Let me take the chest out of the cave. I'm largely ambivalent on whether all these things I'm listing should actually be changed, but this one is an exception, I'll say it without a bit of hesitation, this should have never been this way, and the game is worse because of it. You're welcome to try and convince me otherwise, but you're pretty damn unlikely to succeed. How many times have you listened to that tune? It's a good track. I liked it when I first started, but man, I'm I'm pretty sick of it. I've been vocal about this one since the beginning. The dynamic music is cool. It's a great feature, but it's so not worth it if the price to pay is variety. It's mostly fine with all the other zones because you don't play through them nearly as often, but especially if you're doing speedruns, this particular track is going to burn a hole in your brain. And I've seen people say, just mute the music, but uh, I don't want to mute the music. I like the music, it's part of the game and it's great music. I just want to stop hearing this track over and over every time I restart. I would pay several many dollars for a music DLC. Get on it, Eirik! Seriously though, check out his Bandcamp page, he's a great musician. I feel more strongly about Olmec than Mole Man, but we're talking about the dwellings here and the point I have to make about both is identical. In roguelikes, the minibosses are a fun, surprise gimmick when you first encounter them and while you learn them, and then they quickly get old and tedious. Having these fixed, mandatory encounters in an otherwise endlessly variable game goes against what I enjoy doing in Spelunky, which is traversing randomly generated levels. Instead, it's the same old Mole Man arena every time, with its tedious patterns and behaviors. Compare with The Binding of Isaac, where the mini-bosses are so diverse and they're such a core part of the game that they just blend with the rest of the experience, and I know there'll be many fights where you want to blow your brains out, but I'd say The Binding of Isaac would be a much worse game without all the boss fights. 
Enter the Gungeon is another great example thanks to the variety and because when you fight these bosses you're still doing what the game is all about. And of course you get an exciting random reward at the end of the fight. By contrast, Olmec, King Goo and indeed Mole Man are a repetitive chore that slows down the gameplay and are easily the most boring part of any run. And at last the main contributor to the dwelling's doldrums. The rooms themselves. Think about it. The long corridor. The climb to deep spikes with a push block exit. The three tile jump down that needs the push block to get back. Zigzagging platforms at the far side. Spike pit with nooks to the side, often the key spawns there. Spikes with three staggered platforms. Bone pile stairs with spikes. Long fall with handholds, often the shop spawns there. Dead end number one. Dead end number two. Dead end number three. Look, all these rooms arranging together to give you a different path to the exit every time is an incredible feat of engineering. And it bores me, because each level in the dwellings feels like it's just all these rooms stitched together in a different way, instead of a cohesive whole. I mean, compared to any other zone in the game, where most of the time you have to pay some real close attention to notice the seams between rooms, they have a far smoother topology. And the difference in this granularity is enormous if you compare it to HD's mines, which were so smooth and seamless. I think the mistake was to make so many of the rooms a very distinct mini-puzzle. They make the dwellings a collection of tiny annoyances as we deal with each section because so many of these rooms are designed to slow you down or trip you up. So many dead ends and drops where you need a rope to get back or a bomb to go forward. And sure, I bet the purpose of these is to teach you to pay attention and not take a path you'll regret, but when you've gone through them a hundred times, their existence is just frustration. And it adds up over time. An honorable mention goes to the level moods, which are completely absent in the dwellings, with the exception of, you know, having more dwellings in the echoing variant. I really do miss those snake bits. Whee! In conclusion, there's just too much friction in the dwellings, and it's starting to chafe. With the one exception I mentioned, I don't even know if I'm advocating for changes to be made. It's more of a, a post-mortem on the dwellings and my feelings on it. What I do advocate for is some juicy paid DLC for a Spelunky 2. Oh man, would I pay full price on release for a pack with extra music, new miniboss variety, several different dwelling level moods, and a reason to go to Duat instead of grabbing the clone gun and doing the Ankh skip every time, and maybe some kind of, I don't know, cosmic ocean gimmick to alleviate the sameness of the experience. Derek Hugh is on record as not wanting to dwell on his games. He likes to finish them and move on. But who knows, maybe he can be enticed. Anyway, I'm sincerely interested in what you guys have to say about this one. I'm curious to know whether this resonates with you fellas or I'm about to get a lot of pushback. Again, I would like to make sure you understand I don't think the dwellings ruin the game. I don't think the dwellings are, are the black mark on Spelunky 2 on an otherwise perfect game or anything like that. It's just a number of annoyances that I wanted to vent about and I am genuinely curious to know what's the general consensus on them. As farewell, I'll leave you with a direct verbatim quote with full context from Xanagir, one of the top players in the whole world right now. Sure, what what's, what's your take on dwellings? You know what? I'm sick of the dwelling. It's incredibly <laughs> difficult. It's it's very hard. Derek, there was a problem. So yeah, change the dwelling. There's definitely things that you could change, you fool. <laughs>